Hi guys, welcome to another special edition of Lockdown with Sid. Today we've got a special guest with us. We have a Lachlan Conway, a BJJ brown belt, aka Locky, and uh, he's here at Costume Fight Club. We had a nice training session, we got to roll. Uh, and it's not every day we get someone of such high level coming down to our academy and train with us. So we are honored to have you here. And, <laughs> and I just I just want to go, go straight into you. Like what brought you to India? What are you doing here and how long you've been for? Um I've been here for about I think nearly a year and a half now. Okay. Um I just responded to you know that like BJJ Globe product. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm a member of that and okay. uh, it was just like an app. Do you want to teach jujitsu in India? Oh nice. Uh, for a six month stint and yeah. I'm like why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like a bit of fun. <laughs> um, so I literally just went, yep, let's do it. Why not? I was meant to be here for six months, and okay. uh, obviously that's lasted a lot longer than I expected. And I'm going to be here for a little bit longer as well. Yes. yes. So when did you actually arrive? Did you arrive in 2016? Yeah, no, seven, seven, what seven, year are we now? Uh, 17. Yeah, okay, then I got here. <laughs> yes, then you're right. I got here 2016. 16. Yeah, okay. I got here mid, mid last year. Okay, yeah. Okay. And uh, that was with uh, which gym was that? So before um, I was teaching at Fitness Time. Okay. Um, so we're an MMA, BJJ, mm. Muay Thai gym, mm. um, but recently um, I'm going to do a plug for my own new gym that's starting. I'm awesome. um, starting out on my own venture uh, with a few other people, and uh, we're workshopping a name. So, oh, if, the if names. It, yeah, if it changes itself, uh, because <laughs> okay. uh, we still haven't locked it down, but it, it looks like it's going to be Gardo MMA and Fitness Academy, which okay. is just okay. Japanese for guard, oh, nice. which I feel works in Jiu Jitsu yeah. and it works for stand up. Um, exactly, yeah. it works beautifully. And once once you get uh, once you've got a page set up, a name set up, we'll be happy to you know on the show just just link it everything down. So if someone wants yeah. to join with you, you know, they have the links and they can join. So guys, if you're in Bangalore, Bangalore, you know, January twenty what year is it next year? Twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. MMA and Fitness exactly. Academy. Be there. Leave whatever you're doing right now and start finding out on Facebook what the name is. So we <laughs> can get it started. All right. So how you found India, man? So you're from Australia, obviously. Yes. Yes. And um, yeah, I've been here twice before, like okay. as a tourist. So like, I knew not knew what I was getting into, but yeah. like I toured India before as a tourist, um, and I absolutely love the place. So yeah. I've thought, you know, I love India. Why not? Yeah. Um, I'm surprised at how good the jiu-jitsu scene is over here. Yeah. Like seeing as it's like growing basically. Yes. And I reckon that's piggybacking a lot of MMA. Mm. To be honest, like uh, MMA is just getting out of control here. Like last year at the national, that uh, I'm a national. I'm a national. Yeah. There were like. Uh, 300 or something competitors that locked That's up. Cool. Like That's in, cool. in Australia, sometimes you can't get like 12 people to fight on a card. So it's going out of control here. I think Jiu Jitsu is sort of piggybacking off that because everyone's realizing it's important to know what you're doing on the ground or you're going to get stumped. Yeah, exactly. exactly. But, but still, like, from, you know, from an Indian's perspective, uh, I think we're still a good five or 10 years behind, say, Australia in yeah, terms of BJJ. I look at Australia as like being five to 10 years behind where America was. So, like, sure. I guess. Australia is 10 years to 5 years behind America. Yes. Pretty much India is where we were 10 years ago. Like yeah. In Australia, like it would be rare to be able to train like a purple or yeah. brown, like a black belt or something that you couldn't find anywhere. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Um, it just takes time and just as long as people keep training, it grows and it gets better yeah. and better and better. I mean, we, we started off as all white belts. Yeah. White belts teaching white belts, and that's yeah. what it was. And uh, I remember like 2013, we, we had a blue belt who came in. Yeah. We did a special seminar. Blue belt coming down. We had a, I believe you know, the guy said, I want to teach a six hour seminar. The six hours. Belt. Six hours. So we had a six hour seminar with the blue belt. Didn't teach us anything in that seminar. He was teaching us Aikido and I don't know what all. Ah. So six hours and just, everyone was just fed up. It's like, what? Yeah. What are we wasting our money on? But now you see, like, you get legit blue belts now. Yeah. I don't think at blue belt I knew six hours of technique. <laughs> I don't know. I, I still knew how to spaz out and keep people in the nuts and keep people in the yeah. face. And that's still probably my repertoire. Blue yeah. Belt. I mean, six hours, and, you know, I couldn't teach six hours now, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how, how do you find it? Are you enjoying your time in India? Are you yeah, I love it. Um, there's so like people want to learn the sport, which I really love. And there's a lot of people that come from like a good wrestling background. Yes. So teaching them the submissions and the submission defense, I can strip like you can teach people to get fairly good fairly quickly because mm. they do have a grappling base, which mm. is good. Um, and I am finding home to teach a little bit more MMA centric stuff because yeah. all my guys like MMA yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. So um, we just had uh, Shiva Raj. Yes. Plug him. Yeah. Uh, come uh, first Indian to win a fight at the IMMA. 
Um, I think World he won, champ- won two, three fights. He won two fights. Two fights. So yeah. Nore was the first Indian-born person to win a fight on that event. He won two in a row. Uh, the second one was uh, India versus Pakistan as well. So yes, a of, yes, big fight there. Yeah, big fight there. A bit of bad blood in <laughs> two places. So it was really good to pull out a win against there. And um, unfortunately, he dropped the third. But the guy that he fought was uh, from Kazakhstan. Yeah. They've got a crazy good team yeah. over there, especially with grapplers. Grapplers This guy won the last two events okay. as well. So okay. nothing, nothing wrong with uh, losing to someone yeah. of that caliber. And also, quite it's quite brutal fighting back to back, no? Like Dude, I don't know. I fighting him yeah. like three days in a row, three yeah. days. I don't know how you can make weight five. So if you win every fight, you've got to cut weight five times in a row. So like you can't eat. I'd just be out of control, angry, and just want to show everyone. And you're hurting from the day before. Yeah, you are. It's brutal. It's awesome. Awesome work by Shivaraj. You know, guys, again, follow him on Facebook. Try and send him a friend request. And if you're in Bangalore, you know, go train. With go him. train with him. It's first Indian to win, you know, at the World Championships. Awesome. Um, how are you coping with the food? With the Indian food, um, I don't eat meat, so it works pretty well. For really? Me. Yes. You're vegan? Yes. Yes. Oh wow. So um, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty yeah. good. Uh, like, it, and I don't find it too hot. I I stayed in Thailand for a while. And I okay. Telling everyone then you, this. Then you yeah. Like here they use everyone uses spices. Yes. So in Thailand they pretty much just grab chilies. I feel grind them up and then give them to you. Yes. Uh, so I remember sitting in the side of the road eating street food in um, Thailand and just like. Pools of sweat dripping from my face. <laughs> my lips are bright red. I'm pretty much about to die going yeah. into anaphylactic shock. So it's not too bad with spices here. Okay, okay, fair enough. You, you, you gotta go. In, I mean, if you like spicy food, then there are a couple of friends of mine who make uh, some brutal biryani. You have biryani? Yeah, of course. Oh man, it's like, like pretty much 50% of what I eat right now. Yeah, for biryani. Okay, so uh, Deepak, who's one of our trainers, he's from Kerala, and he makes his biryani where uh, just like you just take one little grain of rice, put it in your mouth. And your mouth catches fire. That's that, that's how spicy it is, man. You sold it to me. You're gonna give me some fire dairy. I'm I'm gonna get it. There's that. Um, what's that YouTube channel where the guy does uh, first we feast? You should change it to that. Oh yeah. Where they like eat all that. Oh yeah, they have the spices. Of it. Yes, and it like makes people open awesome. up because they're like dying. And yeah. They can't really like contain their normal personality. That, that's a great idea. Next and time. First with biryani. That's yeah. My the biryani idea. Just levels of hotness you keep happening. It keeps sweating. The truth comes out. Toilet break runoff. Basically, yeah. just empty yourself and come back. <laughs> nice. Um, so, how did you like? What What got you to jiu-jitsu? What attracted you towards the sport? And um, I, I guess my, most people saw a little bit of MMA. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that looks cool. And uh, it was a YouTube video. Um, it was like 10 years ago. I saw. I think it was of uh, Genki Sudo. Um, I was. I, I don't know how I came across. I was. I guess just looking at martial arts stuff on YouTube. Yeah. And it was a video of him at some tournament in America. And he was just ripping through everyone with the craziest jiu-jitsu. Look it up if you can. Look up Genki Sudo West Side Tournament, and it's basically him being him. And if you don't know who he is, he's like a crazy yeah. MMA jiu-jitsu fighter that does the craziest stuff. And it was him just ripping shop at that tournament. And I'm like, I want to do that. If um, I can do that, then that's what I want to be. Yes, <laughs> no near that level, but at least I tried. <laughs> nice. And we were speaking earlier. You've uh, trained with like Craig Jones and. Yes. Who if people don't know, but he's one of the best in the world at the moment. Oh man, he's shot through the roof. Like everyone knows who he is right everyone now. Everyone knows the ADCC yeah. that uh, rear naked choke against the Andre Low, and then the flying triangle. Flying triangle. Um, he's always been uh, he's always been an absolute beast, and like I think and no buzzers intended. Absolute. Yeah, for absolute <laughs> MMA. Um, and now he's just yeah. I'm sure the fans get into his head. <laughs> You but see, yeah, my home my home team, by the way, is uh, AJ. So I train okay. under Kane Galen as well. Okay. Um, one of the top black belts in mm. Adelaide, in Australia. Okay. Nice. So well. yeah, so you mentioned that you're going back home uh, for your visa stuff. Yep, yep, yep. You're gonna catch some training with your with your old gym. Yeah, yeah. Um, I still uh, train with my gym whenever I'm back in Australia. So yeah. uh, that's really cool. Um, we got a new black belt at the gym as well. Oh. Kane's uh, wife, Kate, just yep. got awarded her black after. I think she got double gold or quadruple gold. I can't even remember. She's won more than any of us um, at the Asian Open in Tokyo. Okay, and right after that, got awarded a black belt. So oh, nice! Yeah. I mean, if you won, win at IBGA Awards, I mean, yeah, you deserve it. So, I mean, which like in terms of you've been to Bangalore, you've been to Delhi. How, how many? What other cities have you seen in, in India? Oh shit! Um, okay, so I've gone to Kerala. Nice. Uh, I've gone to Mysore, yeah. Hampi. Mumbai, yeah. Goa, obviously everyone's been to Goa. <laughs> uh, Bangalore, um, 
Udo Paul. I'm yeah. probably like butchering every name. None of them are. It's perfect. Fifty percent. Udo Paul, Jai Paul, Jod Paul. Yeah. Delhi, Agra, and Varanasi. Oh, that's pretty good. Yes. That's that's a lot of the tourist areas covered now. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So, have you have you gotten a lot of roles in these cities? Have you got a lot of uh, uh, Jiu-Jitsu schools that you've been to? Um, originally, like the first few times I came here as a tourist was about eight years ago, or six. Six to eight years ago, okay. it was before like the internet was big. Yes, not really the internet was big, but like there was that like Facebook community of people like you just go and go. I want to try and introduce on Bangalore, and like ten gyms. Would ten come gyms up. come up. It was like I brought my gear and I couldn't find a single place to train. Um, so my first few trips around India, there was absolutely nothing. I couldn't find a single gym. Yeah. Um, but now, um, obviously, it's a lot easier. There, are, like pretty much every city in uh, all of. Um, India has at least one or two MMA gyms with a grappling focus. Like, um, I recently went out to the northeast. Yes. Training with a few friends out there in like Shillong, yeah. Aizel. Um, oh, red, red Rooster. Happy Red Rooster yeah. in Shillong. And um, Aizel, my friend uh, Samuel's gym, Spez Martial Arts. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. It's just, ev- yeah, it is everywhere. The sport's everywhere. Yeah. So nice. Take over cricket. Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> no, well, that's completely. There's no way that's happening. happening. Never that way. So, 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 India, it's there's cricket and there's Bollywood and everything else is like. Just way, 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 way. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. So, so like, where do you, where do you see uh, Jiu Jitsu in India going? Like, do, do you foresee it? Uh, you know, see, do you see people getting black belts in the future? Do you see us having success in the national circuit? Definitely. Like, it's just like anything. Like, it just takes time to get there. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's gonna kind of like mirror how it happened in Australia. Like. Yeah. Um, Slowly, there will be people getting to purple belt. Yes, guys like you will be getting to brown and then black, and then there'll be people following, and it'll just more competition will keep growing and growing. So I pretty yeah, with time, I'm pretty sure it's just going to get to how it is everywhere else. Yeah. And it's not like ten years ago where it's like I oh, don't go on YouTube, look at the techniques, listen to your coach. Still listen to your coach, obviously. <laughs> but man, like guys like um, Gaval and like oh, the yeah. Mendes brothers are releasing libraries of like the yeah. best teaching ever. So yeah. even if you are places like here, yeah. where they um, might not be, or like uh, obviously there's good training here, but mm-hmm. like other cities where yeah. there's not as high level training, you can still like learn from the people who are the best of the best. So yeah. I think it's a lot easier to learn Jiu Jitsu now. No. I look at blue belts now, and I'm, I remember when I was a blue belt, I knew nothing. Like I was just a spastic white belt wearing <laughs> a blue belt. Um, blue belts now would smash me technically, I, I, like when I was blue belt. So yeah. the sports evolved a lot as well. Nice. So like in terms of like someone who's sitting in say, a city where you go to these two schools, which what would be good, maybe instructionals or good websites they could refer to. Um, uh, I learned. Um, I think a good thing to do is lo- watch a lot of competition. Yeah. Uh, so if you like see King Cornelius compete, look at what sweeps work for him, yeah. and then try to like reverse engineer, find out where what instructional he keeps it on. Yeah. Um, it's, I reckon the best thing to do is look at what works in the competition scene and then try to replicate that yourself or find out if they have an instructional on how to do it. Because in a lot of instructionals, like there's like 30 techniques and you never see one of the guys do it in actual competition. Yeah, so yeah. see what the A game is and yeah. work it out from there. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. Um, all right, no, that's I think pretty much it for this time. Thanks for having I, me. Man. I, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure I'm going to be traveling to Bangalore soon to a new gym, which is still unnamed. Could be Gardo. Maybe. Time will tell. Yeah. <laughs> Time will tell. So, and obviously we can, we can have some sort of association where when our guys travel to Bangalore, they can train at your academy. Love to. Then Delhi, yeah. you know, they can train at our academy. Um, and yeah, and hopefully, you know, like you said, in five years' time, we'll be where Australia is today in terms of the grappling scene. Yep. And then five years post that, where the US is in terms of the grappling scene. So, I really appreciate you coming down. Um, guys, please, I'm going to link uh, Lockie's uh, page on Facebook on the link below. So please click on it. Please add him as a friend. Follow him. Uh, and if you're in Bangalore, please, uh, please go and train with him. You learn a shitload of stuff, which you, which I'm sure you'll appreciate in your in your competition. And any, anything you you, you want to say to your friends and your family and fans? I don't think I have fans, but I got friends. <laughs> you might tolerate me at times. Um, Nothing. Can't think of a thing, uh, Nothing. single thing. You so, put me on the spot. So, yeah. Not working, so, yeah. we're going to call this episode Lockdown with Sid and then double, double inverted nothing. That's the name of the episode. I got nothing to say. Nothing with Lockie. Us. Us. <laughs> Us. All right. Thanks a lot for coming. No problem, really Thank appreciate, you, it. appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Please, if you like our episode, like the video, subscribe to it, the bell icon at the bottom, please click on it. We'll keep bringing you content which is relevant to the Indian BJJ scene, MMA scene. 
and next time I'm, I'm going to be in Bangalore, I'm going to sit, sit, sit down with this great man again and we're going to have a discussion all over again. If you guys have any questions, let us know and we'll direct you to the big guy. Alright? Alright. Oos guys. Oos. Oos.